beautiful babes how are you if you knew how welcome to miss michelle and this is one of my mini series this is how can you detach from somebody you love so we're going to figure out how to detach from somebody that you love that may no longer serve you in your life or that you just want to detach from so with this said i want to remind you guys that my readings have no date they are divinely guided everything has free will not everything is going to resonate you keep in mind that the roles could be reversed between you and that person if that applies and like i always say i run no daycare i don't have a daycare so just so you know this is completely general just take or leave whatever you want from the reading okay 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 look at this deck guys i got it a couple days ago saturday i believe and this was on sale and marshall's guys like i was like <laughs> it was on clearance and look how big how amazing it's easier to see the cards though let's see how can i manage this because there's kind of gigantic <laughs> so the first card here we have here the um nine of cups right here somebody um was whining how i shuffle the cards like boo boo get a life you know like how sad is that you have so much time to hate on a stranger you know like who are you like i don't know you i do not know you and i want to keep it that way you know so stop shouting out attention to you because you just get the wrong attention anyway so we have here the nine of cups the four of swords the wheel of fortune uh, the nine of pentacles the seven of cups and then at the bottom right here we got the eight of pentacles right here sorry it has oils because i bless my cards all the time new or not new so either way the nine of cups and the four of swords so yes somebody i, I see pisces cancer scorpio and we also have libra gemini aquarius focus on libra okay so here we have somebody who is entirely in love with somebody entirely in love with somebody but they know this person is hurting them okay somebody is in a situation that they love the wrong person they are where they're in love with the wrong person they are aware that they deserve better it's just like they don't know how to let go constantly they're thinking like how can i let them go how can i do this um it's very simple not a simple but very simple you need to make a decision and i feel like people be like oh my god that babe that's how life is about you you do it or you don't based on a decision so you need to make a decision for your own good there is a lot of multiple signs multiple readings perhaps multiple people who have told you hey you need to continue to look forward you continue you need to con actually continue to look at what's happening right now some of you are in love with an idea some of you who are in the situation are in love with an image or in in love with the person the person that you're in love with used to be your person or this person that we are talking about is no longer the person that used to be it's no longer the person that you fell in love with and you are holding on to that idea that they can go back to that unfortunately like i said before the same way you have have the power of make decisions this person also has power of make decisions this person has made the decision to become a person that you no longer understand or you no longer feel connected to anymore this is again a decision they made i do see long conversations with this person i feel like you have talked to this person about it have talked about it like how how things used to be the how things you don't like the things you don't like and this person is continuing to like ignore or brush off everything you say so at this point you need to make a decision based on yourself it seems to be that some of you are afraid of being alone are afraid of being single and it's like oh my god i haven't been single in so long or i have or i could have kids with this person keep in mind that the kid if this is kids involved let's say um you are always going to be connected to this person in a way shape or form and these kids will always be connected to that person in a way shape or form so no matter what you guys decide in a relationship you guys are always going to be this kid's parents right and you guys have to be able to separate the relationship from the partnership that comes with uh co-parenting right but now some of you are very afraid of being alone and that's why you guys continue to be with this person even though you guys don't love them anymore or because you got or you guys are no longer happy but once again you guys continue with this person because you're afraid of being alone because being alone comes with more consequences uh you know 
starting to live on your own maybe paying full rent maybe doing everything on your own and of course as a single mother myself if you have kids involved sometimes the other part of the partnership that you used to have or the co-parent right doesn't always co-parent the way they should so every single responsibility falls on your shoulders but just so you know everything is workable everything is fixable everything can actually definitely get better it's all about your focus if you're a negative person if you're constant uh, on the floor if you don't see the light when there's not that I would highly recommend you to maybe look for professional help uh, to get better advice but at the end of the day yes you can definitely let go you can definitely move forward but you're too afraid of what comes next and the fact is like every consequence every decision comes with consequence even staying where you are right now in a situation that you say and you're energetically is telling me that you don't want energetically that you're not happy anymore um, it also comes with a consequence of your mental health and also the atmosphere that you could be surrounded as it right now the seven of cups right here there's multiple choices for you to make there's multiple possibilities for you to make uh i feel like if you were to look at things on a different perspective you will understand that you will find not only a new lover because love is not only really always or a new relationship is not always the main thing but if you were to focus in other things you will understand that it's going to be multiple opportunities there could also be uh multiple helpers again as a single mother and we and i'm going to always put myself as an example because i'm not going to talk other, about other people's situation like i don't get a sponsor for that right moving from that um as a single mom you don't always have a village right like people say oh there's always a village like there's not always a village the village is you yourself and yourself right so sometimes you need to actually look for other help as a uh, state help or other other things but the thing is like you need to start moving you cannot just okay i'm gonna leave and then expect everything to be handed to you no unfortunately if you decide to leave and they and let's say that there is kids involved there's going to be multiple things that you need to do to survive or to ensure your happiness and your kids happiness at the end of the day until you get back on your feet like myself now with the eight of pentacles right here everything it comes with hard work so they want you to know that if you were to decide to move forward there's going to be long nights or long shifts uh and yes you're going to be working a lot a lot a lot okay for you to achieve this happiness or achieve this um final thing that you want but i promise that if you were to let go you're going to be fulfilled of love i feel like you're going to actually experience peace you're going to also experience happiness you're also going to experience self-love and you're going to actually at the end of the day be rewarded for all your sacrifice but everything comes within time it's just not going to happen i said right now like overnight and this is something that people do not understand about tarot we call about we talk about soon as as soon as you make it soon you know if you're a person that goes back and forth if you're a person that double guess themselves if you're a person that doesn't always know exactly what they want um once again this um soon is gonna come within time you know what i'm trying to say so why is it so hard for them to detach let me just lick my fingers let's see <laughs> they're too big i don't know if i can do this guys with this deck oh never mind yep this afraid they're stuck Whoever this person is that cannot let go, you guys are stuck. And first of all, it's financial insecurities, right? Like, oh, how can I do this? How can I do that? Again, I understand. Another thing is like, again, uh, being heartbroken, break this person's heart or getting other people involved, uh, broken, um, heartbroken. Also, the fact of like having nothing starting over so the fact is like some of you are just very afraid of starting over again it's easier to complain right and say i want change instead of making it happen and this is some people that you know like not saying that you are but some people are like that with the six of swords right here they're saying that you guys have already sailed meaning that you guys have already moved on you guys are emotionally detached from this person uh you only need to make it happen physically but emotionally you guys have already detached from this person 
Um, things are not how it used to be. Uh, maybe the sexual life is not as it used to be. Um, they're saying right here that if you were to move on, if you were to sail, right, physically, right, like moving forward physically, it seems to be that there's going to be bigger and better possibilities and opportunities. I do feel that, again, it's not going to be easy because there is emotions involved between you and other individuals as well, not necessarily this partner, but other people as well. But the same right here that is you were to move little by little, once, once and for all, healing takes time. Healing is not going to happen overnight, but also you're going to be able to find other possibilities in your life. And it seems to be that you're able to move uh, forward and you're able to achieve more. But with the page of source right here, you need to stop being so undecisive. And I continue to see air signs, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius are here. And also saw earth signs, but I see a lot of Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energies here. So you need to stop being so undecisive. You need to stop being uh, back and forth. Like I, you take one step forward and then five back and it's like I do feel like some of you are like gaslighting into like oh I tried you know I tried but you haven't really tried you just looked but you forgot to take the actual step you forgot to take the actual action so I do feel like some of you are too afraid of doing this and that's why I'm telling you don't do it whenever you feel like this you need to start researching consider working through maybe get third parties to help you again not tarot readers we are not so we are not uh legally able to help you in any way shape or form you need to understand that tarot readers are only going to give you guidance some sort of clarity for you to move towards whatever your deepest decisions are the ones that will guide you but um a tarot reader and you can look it up illegally if you don't believe me because people think like i'm not doing it for you you can google it out but <laughs> um look it up and when it says that tarot readers are legally but for entertainment purposes only, entertainment purposes only, moving from this, this is just clarity for those who need clarity. Now, if you need to do something else legally or so, you need to move and find the professionals that can help you. Because I do get those comments on those messages and I continue to say, I cannot help you with that. It's for me legally impossible to help you with that. Okay. So just know that some of you are too indecisive and you guys need to make the decision and take steps to that decision then we got the high priestess and the empress so we have here um libra virgo uh, pisces as well um i do see that some of you are ignoring your intuition some of you are ignoring your intuition like i said before this boat has already sealed has already sealed this boat is already gone okay you're just there because you're afraid afraid because of just i don't know like you're used to this person there could be kids involved you know multiple things besides you wanting to be that there because you love this person is everything else is included besides that but now with the empress right here it seems right here that you are in a financial insecurity I do see financial insecurity a lot being one of the the main reasons. Of course, it's not for you guys. Of all, it's not for everybody, guys. I should say, not for you, you, but it's not for all of you. I should say, uh, it's for some people. I do see like a feminine energy here. This could be a female um, that is actually double guessing themselves because you know, you know, you're gonna be a single mother. You know that there's gonna be financial insecurities, and I do feel like you may need to either or start looking for jobs right now or a better job that can help you pay your bills when you decide to move from this relationship or just uh, consider every single little thing perhaps maybe you can actually work uh, uh, couples therapy and if that doesn't work that will give you like the ding 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 answer that you need to you know do other things to see if this will work let's see at the bottom right here we got here the emperor we got aries energy and the hero found taurus energy right here so i do feel i do feel here that um, the reason why also you want to leave this connection is because the person that you're with is controlling with the emperor right here this is like divine masculine energy I do see a very strong masculine energy now I'm gonna have to clarify this I did see a female person female right but I also saw fem feminine energy and masculine energy here but you right here it's you're not embracing the feminine energy now I'm not talking about gender before people cry on the comments I'm talking about here energetically energetically a female feminine feminine energy is more like the one in touch with their emotions with their feelings and is the one that tends to sacrifice more than that that the other person that because it's motherly because they nurture they care you know they sacrifice here and there and if you say no it's not girl boy get a book and come back before i school you because i'm a goodness then people say oh you're mean no i just hate hate the dislike like ignorance in my comments 
like trying to school the teacher like anyways but the here fun right here okay so you guys could have been in a marriage or you guys could be in a marriage that has been going on is it for, for a long time i will say 10 plus years okay uh you guys met this individual when you guys were either were very young or when you guys were in a very vulnerable state now you guys it seems to be that i'm talking to somebody who is legally married to this person there's a lot of things but i feel like this person right here is abusive uh with verbally abusive uh with their authority so i do feel like yeah divine energies are amazing but i feel like you're not able to express your feelings i feel like you're not able to talk about how you really feel i feel like you're not being the person you want to be i feel like this person suppresses a lot i do feel like this person suppresses a lot uh within you emotionally and i feel like you feel trapped you feel trapped and that's why you feel like you can't do it on your own because for a longer time for a longest time this person has suppressed you so much that you have actually became you became that suppressed energy and i do feel like you don't understand how powerful and how much more you could have and how much things you can do to make yourself happy and have a happy life or happier life but i do feel like this person utilizes the fact that you guys can be legally married or also there's a religious uh energy here that is very like oh no like you're going let's say for example saying like oh this is sinning you're gonna be sinning and all of that keep in mind that even if you read the bible in the bible it says that the only person who can actually judge you is god the creator right and people in this or things that they are, are the people who get to to tell you that what you are what you are not right and they like to quote the bible to make it to make it their own way people no longer use uh the bible as guidance they use it as a as a gun they use it to hurt they use it to target and that's why you need to be understanding of this not everybody who holds a bible it's good not everybody that doesn't hold the bible doesn't mean they're evil so you have to understand that good or bad is your heart good or bad is not a religion good or bad is not what i say it's what i do you understand what i'm trying to, trying to say you want to say hi say hi bye, bye. see you later bye see you later go like Mwah. Mwah. Okay. bye bye well done big boy yeah. see you later and this is something that people hate me for because, hold on. It's because I'm telling you the truth. Like, your intent is where it goes, you know? And at this point, this person that you're with is not honoring this vows. It's not honoring everything that a marriage is supposed to be. And let's say that you guys are not legally married, that you guys have been in a relationship for a long time. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Um the only thing that separates you guys is just maybe a paper that was created by the man by uh by a human you understand this your heart everything was created by the creator so at this point guys and i'm not a religious person but i know i know a lot the thing is like i know a lot the thing is like i know a lot but i'm not a religious person i'm just giving you a little bit of insight of reality now moving from this this person is not uh, honoring the vows they're not honoring this the lovers right here i feel like you continue to hope that this could turn around but i feel like you know in your heart that this uh sail this boat has sailed it's just like you are just uh afraid of starting over thank you look the same deck the same cards four of pentacles five of pentacles towards Virgo, capricorn you are afraid of starting over you're afraid of starting over and there's a sense of like that's why you can't detach because of fear because you're com convinced that you're going to fail and that's the thing the human mind has more power than what everybody gives the credit you have to believe in yourself and you have to believe that you're going to succeed if you don't believe that then you already failed before you even tried you know so also i always say like whatever you do in life you need to do some research you need to do it right okay i'm not telling you hey jump it up la 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 you need to do it right as an adult you are responsible for your own life for your own decisions right so we are not in high school that you blame whoever for for your decisions right and they may believe it but as an adult every consequence every action has a consequence and you need to understand that those consequences will come right after that decision the only consequence that's worth 
going for is the one that you think about it and i say this in all my videos and you go like hmm i would done i would have done the same thing regardless of everything i would have done the same thing and that's the one that you know was the right thing to do before you jump in there okay nobody can help you detach nobody can help you uh, make that decision but yourself we can give you multiple options yet your heart your decision your life because you are the creator of your own destiny so with this said why can you detach from this person you're fearful of change you're fearful of letting go now all those of you who are not in a relationship with this person you guys are just together you know energetically you're afraid of them forgive forgetting you you're also afraid of forgetting them as well it's like you're unhappy because things are not exactly how you want them because it's not fair to you but you are willing to go through that because you want to keep this person in your life no matter what but you're not happy what about you with the ace of cups right here what happens about with you what about you what about your your worth what about your self-worth all the things you've done for this person or this connection all the hard work all the intent what about you We got Herman, Strength, and Chariot, which is Virgo, Leo, and Cancer energy here. You guys have seen what you guys need to see with Herman right here. Also, some of you may need to go on solitude or incognito, and it's just like, think about things thoroughly before making any decision. With this said right here, you need to be patient and you need to be strong and courageous because things are not easy and things are not gonna get any easier. They're gonna get challenging. But keep in mind, before the rainbow, there is a storm, and you have not even gone through the, through the storm the way you should have. Whatever you do, be confident in your decisions because whenever you make a decision to stay, to leave, whatever it is that you decide, you need to continue mo moving forward confidently with that decision. You can't just double guess yourself because that's where you're going to fail. Once again, oh my God, the same cards. What about you? the six of cups right here some of you are just stuck on a memory okay, okay. Mm -hmm. some of you are stuck on a memory some of you are stuck on a hold on guys but like i said some of you are stuck on a memory stuck on a some certain events when you guys met when you fell in love but how long has it been since things felt like this how long has it been guys and you can always use communication. Let me just lick my fingers. I always put oils and then it's just like, there we go. But look at this. Everything needs to be perfect. Now is the tower moment, Scorpio energy. There's always arguments, it's unhappiness in the, in the house, unhappiness in the relationships, or unhappiness and the connection itself, you know? If you're not married, if you're not dating, you know? So, you're actually becoming a different person as well you're bitter a little bit more bitter than you used to and then some of you be like oh you're not don't know what you're talking about boo boo take a number to talk to me take a number and then i'll i'll pay attention to you um with the ten of cups right here and the eight of swords and the nine of swords right here again this happiness or this dream of a happy family or this dream of a happy ending for some of you is costing you a lot it's costing you a lot it's fucking up your mental health it's fucking up your happiness you're also waiting on somebody if you're not dating let's say that you're just talking or you just are in a situation ship, right um you're staying single waiting on somebody life goes by you stay single and then you have tons of missed opportunities now if you're single because you want to because you don't want anybody this reading is not for you and you shouldn't know by when you saw the title right but if you're single because you're just hoping for something that you know it may never come or it's gonna take forever i mean you have to ask at what cost do i want this happy ending at what cost do i want this happiness at what cost with this specific individual because some of you are convinced that 
more and more and more is gonna give you what you need. But that bolt had already sealed a long time ago. Look at this. Five of Swords in reverse. I see a lot of water. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I do see a lot of Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I also see Taurus, Capricorn as well. You have tried. You have tried to make this work. And this person could be a narcissist. Some of you, not all of you. You're dealing with a narcissist and you know that shit. And this person, you continue to give your cup. You continue to give, hoping, hoping that this person sees your sacrifice, he takes your cup. Once and for all, you need to be careful because if you give all your cups, if you give all your emotion, if you give everything you could, if you continue to give everything you have, some of you are even borrowing, borrowing what you don't have. It's like you are tired, you are drained, you are burnt out, yet you are borrowing your energies from whatever that you, that you don't have. It's time to leave because it's time to leave. And I feel you know that. But it's just like. It's just you're, you are in love with a image, with an idea. Some of you are also financially stuck. And I feel like, how can I get out? Well, then you need to start making moves to be financially stable. And again, me as a tarot reader, I cannot give you any legal advice besides guidance. And you need to just maybe look for somebody who can actually help you better there to find a job or to find, I don't know, whatever situation you need to, to have. But you need to also put yourself in the place of the queen of pentacles. Okay? You need to nurture yourself. You can't give what you don't have. You're literally not receiving not even a quarter of what you're giving to this person. You're never going to be treated like you want with this person. And you know that. Hold on, guys. And you know... And you know that. And I know this is not the reading. It gives me views. But this is the reading that somebody needs to hear. Cry me a river, then. And you know that. How much more are you going to allow to happen to you? How much stabbing? Ten of swords. Look at you. You're on the floor already you're not a knife holder you know what i'm saying how much more are you gonna take for this celebration and this two of cups pisces cancer scorpio how much more are you gonna take guys how much more how much more look the four of cups you keep yourself distant you keep yourself fighting for something that shouldn't be fighting you shouldn't be fighting for and this is specifically for people who are not in a relationship with them you're just talking or you're just in a situation look you're missing out multiple opportunities because you're just giving your cup to somebody that doesn't deserve it five of cups heartbreak outside on the cold did you know when people ignore you in your brain in your brain it also takes it as when <clears throat> the brain takes it as the same way as when somebody dies when you are ignored by the person you love when your talk 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 are ignored by the person you love the brain takes it as the same feeling the sensation that the brain feels is the same sensation they feel when somebody died that's why people don't fucking understand heartbreak heartbreak is grieving a person that's still alive heartbreak it still is grieving somebody that's still alive but it feels like somebody died you know what i'm saying what is the final message for them We got the page of swords five of wands six of wands and seven of wands leo Sagittarius, aries and a libra energy you have to make a decision are you gonna still uh fight for this are you gonna still 
gonna fight for this even though that is so complicated it's multiple it's back and forth and it's surrounded by trouble it's surrounded by stress it's surrounded by arguments it's surrounded by i don't know it feels like you're fighting for your life for this connection but for you to have the six of wands success celebration um happiness um let's say um i don't know being acknowledged some sort you need to start standing up for yourself in this energy that you're seeking you're not gonna get with them and you know that but some of you are just not ready yet to stand up for yourself because again once you stand up for yourself it's setting boundaries you need to cut people off it's not easy either but that's how you detach from somebody that you know is not good for you in any way shape or form but you need to stop ignoring your intuition because it's easy to say i want to do something and not do it after with the king of wands leo energy and the justice card libra energy you need to be bold enough to make this decision and this is not i wish you wash your energy this is a yes or no straightforward energy but with the king of wands right here you need to uni uni uh, unite the intention with the action be fair and see fair you know what I'm saying? You need to do it right, correctly. But that's all I got for you. If you go like, it makes no sense, then what the hell you watch it then? You know, like if it didn't make, if it didn't, if it didn't make sense within the three minutes, why you watched it? Why you didn't read the title? Like titles, my titles are not even that difficult to understand. And that's why when those comments are not nice, because it's like, if you need a little bit of common sense, I'm going to give it to you because I understand that not everybody has one. If you watched it because it's entertainment, I appreciate it. And maybe this information, if it's not for you, could help others, somebody that's uh, close to you that you don't know that's going through something. But I'm going to give you the initials of the person I'm talking about. Keep in mind that this could be the first, last, middle, or even a nickname. We got Diaz and Diego, X is Xavier, C is and Cat, O is and Oscar, Z is and Zane, B is and Boy. W S and William, S and Sam, L S and Leo, oh my nails, U S and Umbrella, and F S and Frank, and I'm always do this here. G oh my God okay G S and George, V S and Victor, and E S and Edwin. So those are the possible initials. If the person that you know did not show up here in the initials, if the situation makes sense for you, you need to maybe double check that. I'm going to give you three cards. Those are too many cards. Please and thank you. Just two or three cards. Mom, I believe. So we have here the ram right here. And this says, uh, Perseverance. You have many gifts. No problem can withstand the power of your mind. With patience, you can reach your mountaintop. Never give up and good luck will follow. Dragonfly, magic. This is, I embrace my trans transformation. I courageously let go of the past. The magic of nature is in me. I am brilliant and I am blessed. And at the bottom right here, we got hummingbird. And this says, miracles. You are the joy bringer. You bless the world with positivity and love. Energy source on your shining wings. Spread the miracles of happiness. So guys, this is officially the end of your reading. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like and subscribe. Again, I'm going to be announcing today. Most likely you're going to see this later. Um, today I'm going to be announcing the winner for the one... Uh, uh, the two winners that I'm going to pick for the YouTube uh, shorts. Um, as I want a, friend, a friendly reminder that I always offer a, um, a free reading giveaway every time my channel gains a thousand subscribers. And once my channel is for sure on the 13K, I'm going to actually offer that. With this set, I don't need to be emailed, please. I don't need to be emailed or DM'd because once again, I know how I'm going to do it. I'm aware that I might be offering it, but please don't email me uh, telling me, hey, you forgot because I haven't. I have been just waiting for, for, for certain, okay? And the YouTube short, the same way. Um, with this said, guys, uh, again, if you want to always win a, a chance to a free reading, make sure to subscribe to my channel because every time I, I gain a thousand subscribers, I host a free reading giveaway. Once my goal gets, once I get to 15K and then 20K, I'm going to be offering 
also readings but i also want to be giving away some tarot decks um so as giveaway so i have a plan of like a little gift that i'm going to be giving but you guys you got to help me out to get to 15k all the way to 20k okay so with this said uh most likely share my social media so if you follow me on instagram i always follow back i also have a tiktok that i do small readings over there i uh, have a small group on facebook i have an upcoming project of a patreon that i'm going to be offering classes uh tarot classes and i also want to be offering on my patreon um spicy readings so it's going to be sex readings uncensored and it's going to be very fun so if you want to actually watch and i also want to be doing some podcast uh, in my patreon as well if you want a personal reading please make sure to go to the link always on the description box below on every video you can also book directly on my instagram on the book now button on my bio keep in mind guys that i work on a schedule and i cannot extend that schedule or change dates so whatever days i'm available those are the only ones i can read for you guys i also have a sale for valentine's day it's already uh, posted on the service as valentine's day is going to be for uh february 2nd so if you want that um sale just check it out it's already posted on my service like i said before um any other service uh on the second is going to be denied as i only open for that sale uh with this said i do not offer any free readings outside my giveaways outside at all and i do not message anybody for readings for anything on, on any of my social media so i want to remind you guys for that thank you guys so much for the love and support i hope you guys have an amazing uh holiday and a happy new year thank you for the love and support and i know people say that i mean but guess what boo boo gaga my personality is not for sale you don't have to like it and uh, that's who i am and i've been like this for 29 years and i'm just getting a little bit like i have to like always like People who are so sensitive, like, if you don't like my videos, just block me, you know, like, don't watch it. But at this point, it's just exhausting that I have to, like, oh, my God, this is me. Da, da, da. I'm not going to apologize because you happen to not like me. I have no problem with none of you. Even the people who hate on me is like that, hate on me. I don't know who you guys are. So with this said, um, from now on, if you have an issue with me and you don't like me, uh, just block me. If you comment something like that, I'm gonna report your comment and then block you because I just, I don't have time for that. I have a lot of boo boo gagas here that love me. I wanna focus on that. But I'm going to tell you guys that this hate happens and that this is happening because people think that they have the vote, they have the right to my voice and i'm like what the hell but anyway guys thank you so much have an amazing day and love ya